Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Okay, kita bertemu kembali for the revision and discussion uh, for the answer scheme, uh, Knowledge Booster. Takut tak rekod lah. Hello. Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Okay, bertemu kembali kita for the revision and discussion for the answer scheme, Knowledge Booster. And today we are going to discuss chapter 7, which is the gases exchange, and chapter 8, transport. Okay, so for your information, uh, chapter 7, which is the gases exchange, the marks allocate for your final PSPM is about 5.5. So I assume it's about 6, right? And for your transport, okay, it's quite high. Eh? It's about nine marks allocate for your PSPM. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's start our discussion. Okay, so if you look at the questions for the gases exchange and its control. All right, so the first one. Uh, the figure one shows the gas exchange in animal tissue. Okay, so if you look at here, this one is the animal tissue, is the capillary wall. Okay, and this one is the red blood cell. Okay, so let's analyze first. So now, uh, this one is the dissociation of the oxygen from the hemoglobin into the uh, body's tissue. Okay, and this one, the uptake of the carbon dioxide into the hemoglobin okay so if you look at here all right so first we analyze this one okay so if you look at here the carbon dioxide uh, will combine with the water okay so if you, you recall back there is a one enzyme involved here okay so we call as carbonic anhydrase okay okay so i make it small Maybe I can change the color back to red. Lah. Okay, so carbonic anhydrase is here. Okay, so then once CO2 combined with water, so what we can produce? Okay, so we can produce H2CO. Okay, uh, sorry, CO. And campurkan saja O, we got 2 plus 1, so CO3. Alright, so kita just can combine je like that. Alright, then... So, if you look at here, number two, okay, so it's a hemoglobin combined with oxygen. So, HbO, okay, so kalau ikutkan equation, it will be O8, okay, because the four hemoglobin will combine with four oxygen. Okay, sorry, one hemoglobin combined with four oxygen, okay, so O8. All right, so now let's look at the question. State the symbol or formula for 1 and 2. Okay, done. Yeah, do it is already. So just copy and paste. Okay. So what is the full name for your H2CO3? Okay. So you can give the symbol or the formula. So it's a carbonic. Car. And carbonic acid. Eh? Okay, so for this one, HbO8, okay, or also known as oxyhemoglobin. Name the phenomena of the chloride ion entering. Okay, so if you look at here, one HCO3 will be removed from the red blood cell, so the chloride will enter. Okay, so the phenomena is known as chloride shift. Okay. okay, so name the phenomena, it's a chloride shift. Okay, so the next question, 
what is the importance of the phenomena? So what is the importance of chloride? Sorry, spelling. Yeah. Okay. So the chloride, if you look at here, the HCO3 is removed. Okay, and the chloride, which is the negative charge, will be entered. So this one is to maintain electronegativity inside the red blood cell. What form of carbon dioxide transport is shown in figure one? So if you look at here, okay, so if you look at here, this one is the oxygen, eh? So, it's uh, oxygen yang combined with the hemoglobin, not the carbon dioxide. So, if you look at here, the carbon dioxide enter and at the end, they will be produced as hydrogen carbonate. So, your answer is hydrogen carbonate. Okay? Or if you want to write the uh, short form, is this one. Okay? HCO3. State the two other methods transporting of carbon dioxide. Okay, so when you are discussing about transportation of carbon dioxide, okay, so all together we have three. The first one, diffuse in blood plasma. Okay, so the second one as carbohemoglobin means the hemoglobin Okay, combine with CO2. All right. And the third one as a hydrogen carbonate, which is shown in the diagram. Right. So explain. Explain what happened when the red blood cell reached the lung. Okay. So if you look at here, this one is from the body cell. They enter the red blood cell. And then they will be moved until they reach the lung. So once they reach the lung, now, we only can remove the CO2 from our lung through expiration. Okay, so now our CO2 is in form of hydrogen carbonate. So, what you have to do? Yes, kita patah balik je everything lah. Alright, so we start with what? Just now, HCO3 is removed to the blood plasma. Now, the first step, HCO3 is to blood. Okay, must uh, enter back. Uh, Red blood cell. Okay. Right? As they say, uh, you have to write in the full sentence because uh, this one I'm writing in the short form. Eh? Okay. As you know, when the HCO3 is entered back, who's from inside should leave the RBC? Yes. Chloride. Okay. Leave the RBC. So they're going to keluar lah. Satu masuk, satu going keluar. Okay. The next point. Okay. So then, when you just go back here. Okay, so, sekarang, one HCO3 is joined. So, what happened? The hemoglobin release the H plus. H plus. Okay. And HCO3 combine. Back. See? H plus. Okay. So, bila they combine back, form as what? H2CO3. Okay. Alright. So then, belum habis lagi. What happened? So, H2CO3. Okay. So, water from the H2CO3 will remove. Okay. Catalyze by carbonic. In hydrates. So they are can dissociate the CO2 and the H2O. Okay. Right. So the end CO2 will diffuse ataupun uh, apa? will enter lah. Okay. Will enter the lung. And remove from the cell, uh, from the lung, via creation. Okay, done. Okay, so walaupun dia markahnya tiga eh, but actually we can get more than that lah. Alright, so ini macam sebenarnya is uh, similar to the uh, short essay dah. Okay.
Okay, we can get more points. All right. So let's go for the question number two. Okay. So for the question number two, it's a opening and closing the stomata. So if you like that, is what hypothesis is this? Okay. Sugar starch hypo. Okay. All right. So if you look at here, first you have to uh, recognize and identify all the structures given. So, okay. So this is the stomata. Okay. So the opening of the stomata. So gut cell. So inside the gut cell, there is a nucleus. Okay. So Y and X. So what is the X? Okay. It's a chloroplast. Okay. So that's why inside our gut cell, Okay, they can carry out the photosynthesis. And why will be the vacuum? Okay. What caused the stomata in A is open? Okay, so it's actually you can get more than three marks here. Okay, we start with the what happened during day. Uh, your, your story must start with during day. So the photosynthesis will produce. Okay. All right. So what happened? So the water potential okay, in gut cell will decrease okay, due to the presence of starch. But starch can high water potential okay. so then what happened okay so now h2o will enter the that cell okay yang ni wajib tulis eh wire osmosis okay so this will cause the gut cell become turgid. Okay, so the gut cell become turgid. Okay, so stomata open. Right. There. Okay, next. Okay. So the chart below shows a series of mechanism involved in a breathing. Okay, so involved in the breathing. So high carbon dioxide detect by the X. Okay, impulse sent to the respiratory center. So sent to the Y and Z. So they will undergo the inspiration. So what is X? So the high amount of carbon dioxide will be detected by the carotid. And erotic body. So, which is located in our lung. Eh? Okay, why? What is the why? Okay, so, yang ni mana mana satu boleh lah. Okay, so maybe diaphragm. Okay, and intercostal muscle. What are the roles played by the chemoreceptor and stretch receptor? Okay, so both is considered as the receptor. Okay, so what I mean by receptor? Once they get the signal, they will be uh, react. Okay, via sending the impulse or inhibitor. Okay, so like a chemoreceptor, okay, will detect, okay, okay so will detect and send the impulse to the effector. Okay, so while uh, the stretch receptor, which is located at the wall of bronchial. 
So once the inhalation occur, the 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 uh, what do you call it? There? The the lungs expand. Okay. So the volume and in lung trigger. Okay. Trigger the inhibition of inspiratory center. Okay, kalau tak, kita inhale without non-stopping. Okay, so that's why it's considered as receptor. All right, so that's all for the chapter uh, gases exchange. All right, only two questions here. Okay, so now let's go for the quite uh, banyak, eh? it's about nine marks for the transport system. Okay, so we start our transport system with the human heart. Okay, so before we answer the question, so just as the first step, you must clearly differentiate which one is the right side, which one is the left side. Okay, so uh, takut uh, the, the, all the yorta or the right side or the left side. When we are discussing the chamber, so they be, might be wrong. Okay, so this one is the left side. Okay, and this one is the right side. Okay, why I say this one is the left side? Okay, look at the, the wall in the ventricle. It's considered thicker compared to here. Okay, so normally the left side, they have to pump the blood to all over the body. So the wall must be thicker, okay, to withstand the high pressure. Okay, so now what is the A? Okay, it's a vena cava. What is the B? Look at here. Alright. So now, the oxygenated blood is moving out. Okay. So because it's the left side, isn't it? So this one will be the aorta. Alright. What will be your C? Okay. C mana C? Oh, ni. Okay. So this one will be the pulmonary artery. Okay. And what will be your D? Okay. So, nampak ni semua keluar. They enter eh. Alright. So, this one is will be the pal. So, this one is a basic eh. Dari sekolah menengah kita dah pernah tengok this one. Okay. What is the condition of structure F during ventricular diastole? Okay. So, bila dia kata diastole. Means what? Is a contract or relax? It's a relax. Okay. So, what happened during uh, ventricular relax? So, kita tengok structure F. This one is what? Semilunar. Buff. Am I right? No. This one. Oh, sorry. A, B. Okay. Okay, betul lah. This one is the AB buff and this one is the semilunar buff. Okay, so the F will open. Okay. F will open. So they relax. Push. Oh, F close. Not clearly you can see. This one is the AB valve. Okay, so maksudnya close lah ni. Sebab apa dia relax kan? Close. Alright, so what happened during atrial systole? So systole means it's contract. So the first thing, the pressure in atria is high. Okay, so bila pressure high, there are come force AV valve to open. Okay, so bila AV valve open, so blood will flow to blood will flow to okay so bila blood flow to the ventricle all right dua markah eh so this one one you are talking about the pressure. And second one, upper valve yang 
open. So allow the blood to flow. Okay, bila ventricular system, the same event. So now, pressure in ventricle. Blood yang high. High. So, they will force sekarang semilunar valve to open. So, blood flow out to aorta and pulmonary. Okay. So, now, next question. ECG. Alright, so it's very simple. Eh? What is the importance of ECG? Actually, to detect the any minor problem in heart. Okay, so sebenarnya this is the like a, a, apa, the, the pre-testing. Okay, so we got anything uh, not good, uh, so anything wrong from the ECG, ECG, electrocardiogram. So then they are going to refer for the next test. Okay. That's all. Okay, let's look at the lymphatic system. Okay, so if we look at uh, the lymphatic system, so this is the, another system in our transport. Okay, so what is E? Nampaknya E move in and F will be move out. So, kalau dia move in is the arteriole. Okay, and this one will be the, nampak kalau dia dah masuk tu, so dia akan bawa keluar as a lymphatic vessel lah. Lymphatic vessel. Okay, what you can understand by limp? Uh, ini sebenarnya form 5, you are discussing more detail. Okay, so it's actually colorless. Do it. Okay, so bila masa dia akan jadi like a milky white. Okay, when they combine with the uh, chyle. Yeah, so the form is a chyle, baru dia nampak milky white. But before that, it's a colorless fluid which is dry from intestinal fluid. Okay. In lymphatic. Okay. So, dia sebenarnya asalnya adalah intestinal fluid. Fluid yang berada dalam uh, sekitar sel kita. Okay, describe how lymphatic fluid is formed. Okay, so kita boleh start daripada from here lah, the arteriole ni. So, the high blood pressure at arteriole, arterial forces water and small molecule. Out from the body cell into intestinal space. Okay, so dia ada ruang antara sel. Banyak banyak pula dah. Right. So what happened? Okay. So the remaining fluid in the cell will enter the lymphatic vessel. Okay. Alright, then. Okay. Okay, give two functions of lymphatic system. Okay, so the first one in the defense system against uh, disease or pathogen. Okay. And next, to transport in our Okay, describe how the lipids enter the lymphatic system. Okay, alright. So, yang ni, kita kena start daripada our lipid will hydrolyze to become
two fatty acid eh, and glycerol. Okay, so then what they do? Okay, they enter. Okay, so then they enter the uh, villi, which is located in small intestine. Right then, we can continue. So then once inside the small intestine, so the fatty acid and glycerol, sometimes we can write as a monoglycerol, eh? glycerol, uh, combine to form triglyceride belly. Eh? Okay. And will combine lagi dengan so combine big protein, cholesterol. Okay. So I just write here combine big protein to form as chylomicrons. Okay. And then this chylomicron will enter the lactyl. Okay, so we stop until there lah. Then, bila dia masuk dalam laktil, baru kita sebut dia sebagai chyle. Okay, dia combine dengan intestinal fluid tu. Tapi dia kata sampai masuk lymphatic system kan, so kita stop sampai laktil saja. Alright, so question number three. Okay. So, for question number three. Okay, so for this one, we have to draw a little bit. Okay, so if you look at here. Alright, so the first one, the first question, they ask you to draw. So, ingat eh, kalau soalan macam ni keluar, draw betul-betul lah. Sebab sebenarnya macam free mark kita boleh dapat kat sini. So, as you know, apoplastic is using the cell wall. Okay, so let's say I'm drawing here lah. Okay, so I'm susah sikit nak buat uh, arrow. So, I'm just doing like this lah. Okay, so they will be follow the cell wall. Okay. Alright, oops, but here cannot. Okay. I stop and here. Sim plastic. Okay, so I change the color. So let's say sim plastic, they go through the cytoplasm. Okay, so they masuk ikut cytoplasm and masuk endodermis pun tak ada masalah. Alright, so then the third one which is the casparin strip. So let's say the casparin strip is located at the endodermis. Okay, alright. Okay, done. Ah, tu dia. Kita block dia. Alright. So, I copy. Another one. This. Okay, dan Susah sangat pula eh. Okay, kecilkan dia sikit. Kita blockkan dekat cell wall. Okay, so ini begitu kecilkan sikit. So, kita blockkan dekat cell wall dia. So, once we block at the cell wall, so what happened? So, now all your, uh, the, the pathway from the upper plastic, Okay, so now they will be remove all the fluid back to cytoplasm. Okay, so sana lukis kat sini. So dia akan turun ke sini lah. So this is the caspiracy. Okay, another important things you have to make sure you uh, write the you write the okay. So you have to do the uh, what is this? It's a casparian strip. Mesti label kan eh? Casparian strip. Right, so the red color is a apple plastic. Okay. okay, and the blue color is sim plastic. Ingat eh, kalau dia suruh awak lukis, so make sure ada label. Okay, so ini tukar merah. Ha, kononnya untuk merah senang kita nampak. Alright. So pastikan eh bila kita draw tu. Tengok on the figure tree. So you just complete the drawing here lah. Okay. So based on the figure tree. Explain the structure and importance of Casparian strip. Okay. So as you know Casparian strip is made by Subarin. So it, they contain. Subarin. Okay. So what is the Subarin? So, they are water resistant ataupun they are water proof material. Okay, they are against the water. 
Okay, so apa dia boleh buat? Divert the apoplastic pathway okay, into thin plastic pathway. Right? So state the cause that leads the vertical movement in the water. So apa yang menyebabkan the vertical movement? Okay, so due to the transpiration pool. Okay. And the second one due to the root pressure. Dua eh? Transpiration pool and the root pressure. Alright. So describe three way in which xylem vessel are adapted for their function of water transport. Okay, so maksudnya, uh, this one is more to chapter 2 in uh, SAM 1. Okay, we are discussing about the xylem, specifically the xylem made by what cell. Okay, everything lah. So, it's actually made by holo lumen. Okay, so dia macam buluh tu kan, holo lumen. With no living cytoplasm. Okay, so sebab dia nak lalukan air kan? Cytoplasm. Alright. So, they will be reduce the uh, resistance. Or water flow lah. Okay, or water uh, flow. Okay, so kalau dia ada cytoplasm, so they will absorb the water. Jadi sekarang disebabkan dia adalah holo lumen. So, without, uh, okay, no eh. Okay, with no living. Okay, alright. So, then, kita continue. So, it's made by lignified the wall to prevent the collapse. Okay, so kita tahu eh, uh, when we are transport the water against the gravity. Okay, so let's say like a tualang tree. It's a very long one, or the okay, the tall tree. Okay, so the lignified will against the pressure, so they boleh withstand with the high pressure, yang move against the, uh, what do you call it, against the gravity to there. Okay. okay so lignified here. Okay, and the third one. Okay, so they contain with the pits, it's a, like a tiny hole. Okay, so which allow, allow the lateral movement. Okay, so semua ciri-ciri yang membantu adaptation of the xylem in transport water. Alright, okay. So, the last question. Okay. Okay, so this one is a transport. Okay, one more thing I want to tell you here. Okay, when they're writing xy flow like this, eh, please be careful. Eh. Flow ni is a combination between the sieve tube. Okay, so they akan ada sieve plate. Sieve plate. Dan dia akan ada companion cell. Okay, so semua ini bergabung. Baru namanya adalah... Uh, apa flow okay so kalau kita sebut nanti takut ya eh, bila you kata the let's say the sucrose is transport into the flow masalah lah sebenarnya the combination of the sieve tube sieve plate companion cell baru namanya adalah flow okay so please careful when you answer these types of question eh okay all right so what is the first question name the source and how substance b could be produced okay so this one, right. So what is the source? So, adalah leaves lah. Sebab dia yang boleh buat photosynthesis. Okay. So by uh, carry out, there is the photosynthesis to produce B. Okay, apa tu B? Okay, source. So kita tahulah selalunya it's a sucrose lah. Alright. How could C help to transport? What is C? Ha, apa dia ni? Yang duduk di antara. So C is actually the companion cell. Ha, ni companion cell lah ni. Okay. 
companion cell. Ha, dia akan duduk di antara. Okay, so what's the function of the companion cell? First, kita bagi tahu dulu what is C. So companion cell. Okay, uh, provide ATP of substance. Substance B to transport wire active transport into the ah dekat sini yang saya kata kena hati-hati eh not into the flow but into the sieve okay okay into the sieve ah kalau kat sini boleh flow jadi salah nanti eh what is molecule A? Okay, so, kalau nampak. So, here, dia masuk ke sini. So, from xylem, of course lah, this one is the uh, water. Okay. Briefly explain how molecule A help in transport of substance B. So, now, we are actually discussing about the translocation lah. Okay. So, your idea will be start with the accumulation of B or your sucrose. Will cause water potential, ataupun osmotic pressure. Okay, mana mana boleh. Osmotic pressure high. Okay, so di mana in sieve tube sebab sukros banyak. Okay, so bila uh, they form as a High uh, osmotic pressure in sieve tube. So what happened? Water from xylem will diffuse into sieve tube. Ah, yang ni wajib ada wire osmosis. Ada. Ah. Yeah, so bila air dah masuk dalam sieve tube wire osmosis, so sekarang kat sini kita ada sukros. Or B plus the water. So this combination, water and the sieve tube. Okay, so they akan cause high, high hydrostatic pressure in sieve tube. Okay, jadi sekarang dah ada differences. So the differences osmotic pressure, uh, the differences hydrostatic pressure okay so cause molecule to move okay so tadi dia kata nak pergi ke mana absence uh, down the sieve tube so the molecule ambil je air dia balik down substances eh Okay. All right. Last question. What makes molecule A to be drawn back into the xylem? So, kalau kat sini kita nampak. Okay. So, here our sink. Let's say the fruit, root. Okay. So, they just require the sucrose. So, once again, the sucrose will be transport via ATP provided from the companion cell. And transport to the sink. Okay, let's say like this one flower ke, fruit ke. Alright, so now what happened here? So, yang tinggal here will be the water. So, now the water potential will consider high compared to the xylem. So, now the water will be diffused back to the xylem via osmosis. So, macam mana kita nak buat ayat? So, the transport molecule B into the sink. Okay, so cause the water potential is high in sieve tube. So water diffuse into 
xylem, okay, via osmosis. Alright, so settle. Okay, so get ready lah. Sebab selalunya student memang tak suka about plant. Okay, but good. Kali ni banyak soalan yang plant dalam uh, knowledge booster kita ni. Alright, so that's all for today. Okay, we are discussing two chapter, which is a gases exchange. Okay, and also the transport. Okay, so lagi sekali Madam nak ingatkan. For the gases exchange, uh, marks allocate for your final is about 5.5 into 6 lah. Okay, and transport banyak ya, is about 9 marks. Okay, so please get ready. Okay, alright. So in next uh, discussion, we are going to discuss about homeostasis. Alright, okay, see you then. Bye. Assalamualaikum.